Hi friends. As many of you know, I recently moved to the desert southwest. And as I settle into life here, I am enjoying the multi-sensory experience of getting acquainted to life here in the desert. The landscape is beautiful, certainly different from what I'm used to. As you know, I moved from Alaska where I'm used to birch and willow and spruce trees and lots of snow this time of the year. Now the countryside with saguaros and palms, mesquite and palo verde trees are certainly a sight to behold. And I love the singing of the various birds during the day and the hooting of the owls at night. Again, something I don't experience in Alaska, especially this time of the year. This morning, the rose bush at the house I am currently staying in produced its first three blooms and seeing and smelling them brought me delight. We've had some rain recently, and I love the freshness of the desert air with the different scents it carries. Now, these may be trivial to you, especially those of you who've lived in the desert all your lives. But for me, these are new sensory experiences grounding me in this place and in this new season of my life and my ministry. Think about it. It is these scents and sounds and these sights that those who lived in this land before us relied on to predict weather and changes in the seasons. And these in turn dictated life decisions they had to make for themselves, their families, and their tribes. We are in this season of reflection called Lent. And in a few days from now, we will be entering its climax with Palm Sunday, Holy Week, and Easter. And because we have this every year in our Christian calendar, it is so easy for us to fall into a rut and miss the relevance of this season. We could easily just go through the motions as part of this yearly cycle and miss its meaning altogether. And so, as we enter into Holy Week, I have a proposition for all of us. I invite us to experience Holy Week through all of our senses, to not just listen to or, or read the texts, but to really immerse ourselves in the story of Jesus in a multisensory and tactile way. I invite us to feel those palms in our hands and to wave them with gusto, to shout and sing Hosanna in the same celebratory tone of those who welcome Jesus, to lay palms and feel them crunch under the feet as we walk on them. I invite us to gather in the upper room for communion, to pay attention to the taste, the smell, the texture of the bread and the juice. I invite us to listen, listen to Jesus praying in anguish, to hearing the clinking of the 30 pieces of silver, to hearing Peter saying, I don't know the man, to hearing the rooster crowing or the crowd shouting crucify him or the nails pounding, the women weeping, the dying men, the rumbling earthquake, and the cloth being torn. And then I invite us to sit in the silence of Saturday. This in-between time, this liminal space of no longer, but not yet, to reflect on what is being revealed to us, to you. In the same way that the psalmist invites us to taste and see, and that Jesus invites us to come and see, I invite us this Holy Week to taste and see and listen and touch and smell the story as it unfolds. And as we do so, may we pay attention to how God may be speaking to us, to what God may be revealing to us, to what God may be calling us to let go of or take on through the sensory experience of reliving the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I pray that Holy Week does not just come and go for you, but it would be a deep, life-changing experience. God bless you.